Hello, my name is Herb Glitch, and we are going to set up NinjiW, Visual Studio Code, and SFML all on our Windows computer. We're also going to set up Make if you want to um, see that part. It's kind of extra, it's not really necessary, but I'll explain why I'm going to set up Make um, and also how to set all this stuff up really quickly. So, here we go. We're going to first come to ninjiw.org, and all links will be in the description. So we'll go to this left hand side, downloads, click on that. Then we will click on this Windows download button, ninjiw get setup.exe. Boom. It's going to open it up. Save file. I'm going to open it up and get this install. See, ninjiw, put it wherever you want. I'm going to keep the rest of the defaults. It's going to take a little bit, so I'll fast forward through this portion. Okay, then we get continue. Click that. Now we're going to add G++, um, the G++ one, so the two plus signs, mark for installation, that one, and also the base bin, mark for installation. We're going to get a basic NinjiW installation and a C++ compiler is what we want. Awesome, then we're going to click installation and apply changes, apply, and this is going to load. Okay, then once it's done, all changes were applied successfully, so let's close it. We can also close out of this window too, and out of this window, we don't, we're not going to close out of this, we're actually going to go to OSC, NinjiW, wherever you stored your folder. Then we're going to go to bin, and we're going to copy this path. We're going to press our Windows key and type in environment variables, which should pull up this window. Click on environment variables, path, and as you can see, I already put it in here, but I'll put it in again. Control V, C, NinjiW, and it's the bin folder. This is a crucial and really important step, so please do it. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. And after that, we've set up NinjiW, so we can close out of that. Next, we're going to do Visual Studio Code. So download for Windows and save file. Pretty similar process. There is one thing that you have to make sure that you do for this one. Um, and we'll talk about that when it pulls up. There we go. So I'm going to accept this agreement. Then I'm going to keep it in my C directory. Next, Visual Studio Code is what I want it to be. And this is the crucial part right here. Make sure it's added to path. There is a check mark already there, so that's great. And then we're going to continue with all other, all other defaults. Here we go. Okay, and now we're not going to launch Visual Studio Code, so we're going to uncheck that box and click Finish. Next step, SFML. Here we go. Download SFML 2.5.1. We're going to do NinjiW, which is what we just downloaded for 32 bit. Download that and save the file. Open up its folder location, which we have it in our downloads right here. Unzip. I'm struggling to find unzip, but here we go. Extract all. Extract. Perfect. And I'm going to close out of this other one behind it. So we've got this, and we've got our other one. I didn't close out of it. You might need to reopen up one um, with NinjiW's folder right here. So I'll see NinjiW. We're going to go into the lib folder, GCC, NinjiW32, 9.2.1. And right here, we have a whole bunch of .os and .a files. We're going to go to our SFML folder. We're going to go to our lib folder as well. And we see a whole bunch of .a files. So we're going to... Select the top one, hold shift, press the neck all the way down, control C. We've got all of those as you can see. Come here, click on it, control V, and we've got all of those files where they need to be. Perfect. Now we're going to go into include C, and then we're going to come back to our um, SFML folder. Click on include and copy this folder that says SFML. Paste this right on in here, boom, and let's scroll to the top so you can see that it's in right there. Perfect, and that entire setup 
has been finished. We're not going to close out of this window because there's one last thing that we have to do in our actual file, and I'll explain it, and it has to do with our bin. So we'll open that, and let's minus it for later. Now we're going to press our Windows key, R, and CMD, enter, or you can open up your command prompt however you are comfortable with it. I'm going to open mine full screen. I'm going to CD um, into a directory that I made. So I like putting it in programs, C++, games, SML. And because this is a tutorial, it's in my tutorial folder, and then it's also in my setup. I created a folder called setup. So I'm going to click enter. And then I'm going to type code, C-O-D-E, dot, in the directory that I want. Enter. Okay, now we have an empty folder. Hopefully you were able to create your own empty folder. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. But here we go. We're going to create a new file. Call it um, main.cpp because it's a C++ program. Then we're going to come back to our SFML. Click Learn tab tutorials, SMML, and Linux, because we're compiling in G++, so it will be very similar to how you do it on Linux. We're going to copy this template code right here, and we're going to paste it in to see and make sure that all of it works. Awesome. Control V. It's all in. Save it, and we'll see. There are no errors. One thing we need to do to set it up is make sure that you have C++ and C++ IntelliSense. So we'll type C++ in our search extensions. Click here, install. Um, I previously had Visual Studio Code installed, so it's installed for me. And same thing with IntelliSense. Install that too. Those are very important for debugging. So we'll click back here, close out of this tab. And now if you see, if I try and type something that's not included in a library or anything else, it'll give us some errors. So it gave us some errors because C out isn't included. So we'll delete this line. And that's all the code that we need in order to test to see if this works. Next, we're going to go into our folder structure with all of these and copy them. Then we're going to click and reveal our file explorer. Right click and reveal our file explorer. Paste all of these in. You'll see they all show up here. Now we can go down to compiling. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention real quick is we have um, this little drop down right here. We should click on it, and there will be an option to set whatever your preferred um, thing is. It will automatically be in PowerShell, but click that and set it to command prompt because we need to use command prompt rather than PowerShell. There's some features that PowerShell won't let us do when we're trying to compile, so please switch that to command prompt. Okay, so we'll type G++ dash O, or dash C, as in compile, G++ dash C, main, sorry, G++ dash C star dot CPP, and this will compile all of our CPP files. We can say main dot CPP because we only have one, but in the future we will want to compile multiple CPP files, so we'll do star dot CPP. Anyways, I'll type main.cpp here, because we only have one, and it will compile it. Now we can see we have this main.o file, which didn't exist before. Then we're going to come back to our SFML page, and we're going to copy this dash L SFML graphics to L SFML system. We're going to come back here, head here, we're going to type g++ uh, main.o, which is our compiled file. We'll, in the future, type star .o, just like we said with the CPPs. Um, but for now, we'll just say main.o, and then we're going to type dash o, which is going to link our files, then type main, and paste in everything, all the things that we had co um, copied. And hit enter. We can see now we have a main.exe. So we can type main.exe, and you will see, boom, we get our window up. Heck yeah, that was really fast. And it works, and it's awesome. And we're going to be using this in the future. I really hope this helped. Now you can end the video here, or you can keep watching for how to set up a make file. Um, but we're going to be making a make file now. Here we go. 
So we're going to open up the new Chrome Windows. The link's in the description, just like all the others. We're going to click on the Setup, this Download, top one, Setup, hit make.exe, Save File. Um, be cautious of all these files we've downloaded. Um, make sure that you scan them yourself and make sure that they're free of viruses. I have scanned these, so I believe they're free of viruses, but I could be wrong. Anyways, so we're going to install it. Next, I'm going to accept the agreement, and I'm going to leave the basic defaults that they give us. And next, install. So that's installed. I'm going to click finish. And the last thing that we need to do is... Well, I'm going to delete all of these because these are not necessary anymore, but we're going to go into our OSC program files 86 or wherever you just saved this um, file that you downloaded to new win 32. That's the file that holds our make and go into bin. So make.exe. This is important as well. We're going to copy this path, do the same thing as before, windows key and then environment variables right there environment variables, path, make sure that's paste in, I have it right here, I just press control V, and then OK, OK, and it's now saved, we can click OK here as well, close this out, and we can close out of this window as well, and now all we have left to do is to close out of this window, and to close out of our command prompt, because we need um, those command prompts won't recognize our path until we open up a new one. So let's open up a new one, command prompt, see programs, C++, games, SFML, tutorial, and setup. Now if I type code dot, it will open up our window. This is exactly what we want. Heck yeah, everything's still there, everything's all safe. We're going to create a new file, make file, enter. In our make file we'll have all compile clean um, actually I'll put link before this link clean run and I forgot one that I normally have test. So this is normally how I like having my make file set up. You can do it in any way that you want. Um, you can read up on make files online. They're not overly complex. Um, this is just how I like to do it. So this is how I'll show how to do it. So G++ dash O, I mean dash C under compile, and then we're going to say dot star dot CPP. And then for link, we're going to say um, G++ star dot O dash O, and then the dash L S F M L. So I need to copy this again, I believe. So we come back here. Awesome. This, recopy it. Paste it in and put main in front. Awesome. For clean, I'll say del star dot o, which will move all of our dot o files. Um, just to make things a little bit more tidy. Test, we're going to say compile and then link and then run. All we're just going to say compile and link because we want to see if it works. And last but not least, or we want to see if we get any errors, test will actually run the program. Compile, we're checking for errors. Test, we're checking for, well, we're actually running the program. Then run is just main.exe. Now, if we save this and we say make, we'll see it compiles everything that it needs. Make test will run it for us. So we'll pop this up, and if we say make clean test, it will actually delete all the O files and then remake them and run it. So there we go. This might look really ugly to you. We'll be putting them in separate folders in the future going forward, um, but that was just setting up um, SFML in an editor like Visual Studio. The same thing should work for Atom. Just make sure that you have all of these files here and that you're using the command prompt and doing G++. And I hope you have a wonderful night. Please let me know if this was helpful. And also, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Um, this is my very first YouTube video that I'm putting out in public. So hopefully it didn't confuse you too much. 
and stay awesome.